Welcome back to the Crud Builder, everybody. Today, we are working on the trunk. The shop is an absolute mess. So I'm gonna break for a minute and probably clean up some of this, but I'll show you a little bit. The good old trunk here is gonna get a tuck um, and that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna straighten this, uh, this shop up, move some stuff around, move the car uh, halfway into the driveway to give us plenty of room back here, and then we'll get started. Okay, we got the back all cleaned off, and uh, here's the trunk situation. So what we're gonna take the opportunity to do while this is all open, uh, before we tuck it and get it all set up for the actual derby is I'm gonna undo all these bolts back here so we can pull all these lights out. This is something I should have done during the process when I was stripping it, but uh, I didn't do it. So I'm gonna knock that out real quick. Once this is all out of there, uh, then I'll talk you guys through um, how we're gonna do the tuck. Now, I don't know if this is the best way to do this. There's probably guys watching that uh, have tucked a trunk before, but the way, where I want to tuck it is right, I want to connect the trunk to these two little humps here, right on the center line of this uh, depression in the trunk here. So I'm gonna measure right from the front of this divot and I got it at exactly 19 inches. So basically, this is gonna bend. I'm gonna bolt with some threaded rod through there, through this bend. So when this bends down, this is gonna be facing that way. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, but it'll make sense, I, I think, at some point. But basically, since I got 19 inches of height that I've gotta clear, then I basically need 19 inches from the max bend here. And then once I do the threaded rod, so I'm gonna mark it right here. This is where I'm gonna basically bend the hood. Hood, not hood, trunk, sorry. Hood for a future video. So I'm just eyeballing as best I can. I'm feeling like this is gonna be right here. Okay, I'll take a, I'll take a straight edge and I'll basically mark a line between those two. I thought I had something out here. But I have to use something else. And my wife took the level. I'll probably have to beat this up and in a little bit because it's it's kind of coming out to a point here. So it's gonna be a little bit longer than 19 inches, obviously. Um so well, once we get the uh, trunk bent and we try to fill it down in there, we'll we'll see how that how that goes. The other, actually, the other problem that we may run into is that this is higher than this, so I may also have to beat this down a little bit. So, um, when she, while I got everything open I think is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna sledgehammer this down and I'll be right back so I was able to get this bash down it's not exactly the same height but I think we'll be able to smash the trunk down in there and uh, we'll be okay so next step is I gotta get I got it marked up top, but I gotta get it marked on the underside so that I can cut this uh, bottom piece 
um, so that this trunk will fold real nicely. And then also this, I've got to cut this out. So that way it'll fold over this little kind of internal piece. That's, this is what the, tr this is what this trunk sits on when it's closed. And if I don't get rid of the bottom half of it, it's not going to be able to fold down. cutting wheel. Okay, I've got these cut and bent in. Um, I'm gonna lower the uh, hood here, and um, so you can see that gap. That's right where the trunk is gonna fold down. So I'm gonna notch these on both sides and then um, put a straight edge across and uh, we'll do the underside. I don't know how this thing's gonna fold up, but we will see. starting to bend in the middle see all right Whew. okay get it to bend in the middle is and hopefully although I don't know if I do 
Ooh, I don't know if I have a piece of steel long enough, but the next step is I'm going to set a piece of steel here um, and I'm going to start pre-bending it um, by hammering it over that piece of steel. Put these right over these spots where the bend is supposed to be at. go so we'll see we'll see how this goes hey here goes nothing Again, if somebody is watching and uh, you know, I watched a few YouTube videos on how to tuck a trunk and got some advice from my, my old buddy Adam, but this is probably not the, the right way to do this. You know what? I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a ratchet strap. Sometimes guys, you just gotta think on the fly. Because I'm thinking, because this is just so floppy that uh, that could be one of the reasons why uh, this is just not bending as dramatically as I want it to. So I'm going to suck this thing down with a ratchet strap as far as it can go and see if that gets me what I want. Just bringing it down might bend it a little bit. Um, but once I get it completely sucked into where I want it. It's gonna be a little something I've gone to here, buddy. So the first thing I notice is that unless I can get a much more dramatic bend here, then I'm gonna have to bend this to clear the bottom of this. So we're gonna try this with a few more whacks of the old sledgehammer and see what happens. <laughs> oh, I cut my ratchet strap. I got some chain right there. I got a pretty sturdy gas tank protector right there. I'm thinking chain puller from the inside. 
over this I-beam ought to give me the bend that I want. Picked up this three-ton chain puller a while ago. I don't know if it's any good. My buddy James has one of these and seems to work pretty good. I am going to use it today. Hoping the tabs that I left here are going to be enough to get this I-beam out of here. Okay, I got one chain acting as a loop for this giant hook to hook to. I've got this hooked around the trunk. I've got the polar side hooked around the gas tank protector. I'm going to climb into the back of this now and uh, let's see how bad I can mess this up. So, uh, it's tight back here, but I'm a little guy, thankfully, for you big guys, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, I guess tuck your trunk maybe before your gas tank protector's built. All right. So I've never used one of these before. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, it's... It's ratcheting, but I just, I don't, it doesn't feel like it's pulling anything. That's the only thing. You know what I mean? Okay. I'll give you a better view here. So, there she coming. Beautiful. There she goes. All right, let's see if we can see inside there. Ah, oh, see, so we're almost, we're almost out of slack. Um, well, no, we can bring it up more. Let's see how this goes. So it does pull uh, quite slowly, but um, it is, oh man, what did I do here? All right, so make sure this is not getting caught up in the gears here. But it is powerful. I mean, this is like, Compared to my come along, this is requiring almost no strength at all. Well, my friends, every now and then, even a broken clock like myself is right twice a day. So this worked amazingly. All I have to do now is push and beat this down and run my six on six off pattern. I'm gonna drill up through this panel and run some bolts that will suck these pieces together uh, and then I will cut my hole in the trunk for inspection. And uh, then this thing is ready to uh, start creasing and pre-bending pretty much. So um, this thing, man, I tell you, this thing is amazing. Uh, if, you've been, if you've been messing with come-alongs like I have for a long time, breaking them and buying new ones and breaking them, then uh, spend a little bit of money and get one of these chain pullers. I have welded on either side some strap. We're allowed to weld the whole seams, so I will do that next, but uh, I welded just a couple pieces so I could take the chain puller off, uh, which again, worked like a champ. So on the next part, you'll get to see what it looks like fully welded up. T-Balls was nice enough to do the uh, trunk hole for me, so. Again, I've been trying to save as much material on the car as possible. I was cutting, folding, and rebolting, and then I reread the rules, and it allows me to fully weld the seams on the trunk.
pressure is coming up on this side more than this side. You think? A little bit. You want to move the chain? Let's go up a little bit more. How much more do you want to go up? How's that notch looking? I took a piece of pipe and just dimpled this back right here and on the other side down there just uh, to allow this um, a little less resistance in bending upward and pushing in which is what we wanted to do and then um, we still have this is tucked nicely in there we still have to put two bolts uh, through the trunk lid on either side and uh, we will do that as well so this is looking pretty good so uh, after we tucked the trunk we went ahead and used the chain puller this is the MVP of the day to go around the uh, halo bar and then around the bumper we pulled the bumper up and we were able, I don't know, it might be hard to see, but this, this was our first notch here. We've actually closed up, closed up that first notch. Once we got the bumper height where we wanted it, we were allowed two pieces of strap to go from the trunk lid down to um, the bumper. We only needed one in this case because rather than putting these here for additional strength, we actually just put this here so that this would stay at the proper height that we want. So we just ran one. Still got plenty of visibility into the hole um, for inspection. And then the plan basically is as I take hits with this, this should collapse downward, allowing the rear end to still fold up, crunch into this, second notch about here, boom. There's still gonna be two pieces of all thread that go down um, and weld to the side of the frame get some big washers on the top um, but beyond that this uh, this trunk is done so I am very very pleased with it again I highly recommend you invest in one of these uh, I have broken so many come alongs and this thing was just an absolute beast it pulled everything that we wanted it to, wanted it to pull um, for a, fr a fraction of the effort that it would have taken with a come along. Um, so tune in next time and uh, I'll show you uh, what's coming up next. I think it's going to be the motor coming back. So I'll see you guys on the next one.